I want to live more intentionally in this season of my life. In the previous season, I focused on going with the flow and loosening the reins. And now I'm feeling a little more goal oriented and open to the fact that this will change in the future. But for now, let's incorporate some intention into our days. If you're new here, I'm Victoria, aka Auntie Vic, and you should consider subscribing if you like the idea of living intentionally and living a calm, joyful life. If you've been here before, welcome back. Let's get into the video. Yesterday, when I was on my way back home, I stopped in Denver for a layover and I ended up getting some sunscreen. I was already in the market for some good sunscreen. I borrowed both of my sisters and one I found to be a little bit too oily and the other just a little bit too expensive. Although this ended up being the same price, but I'll tell you why I got it. So it's Bjorn's. I had never heard of this brand before, but so supposedly it's like a local brand in Denver and I love whenever I'm anywhere just like trying to see what people have to offer from their area. So they had like honey and CBD oils and essential oils. I was very excited about everything there. It was just everything was like super crazy expensive. So I was like I'm gonna treat myself to this SPF 30 sunscreen and I've loved it so far. I'm gonna put some on right now. That's why I have it out. I just figured I'd show you guys in case you have access to ordering some Bjorn. It goes on like white, but it, there's no white cast afterwards. It's marketed as like a jelly. I guess maybe that has something to do with bees and the hive and the honey, but regardless, it smells so good. And it just goes in and I feel protected. It's reef safe. It doesn't leave white cast greasiness and so far has not made me break out any more than I already do. Ugh. Wonderful. Oh gosh, it's, it feels so good. And I just did that sheet mask, so it feels like super luxurious right now. I'm just hanging out right now. Toby did not get any groceries recently. I guess he's kind of just been eating out and taking care of himself. And he did leave the apartment super clean, which I'm very happy about. But there's no food here, so I'm thinking maybe I'll go to a cafe. I have a lot of editing to do and a lot of like work to do. I really need to get on myself on a schedule. I wanted to do some grocery shopping, but I'm on my moon right now and I'm feeling very drained and I just don't think I can just be moving and grooving like that. I also thought maybe I would go to the beach just because I missed it so much, but I, again, I don't, I feel very like clunky and don't really feel like putting on a swimsuit or setting up the shade or anything like that so the day is kind of up in the air I just know that I do need to reset unpack do some laundry and right now I just need to get some food into me before I get a little cranky that's all I've got for you right now welcome to the vlog Living by the ocean is probably my life's biggest accomplishment. It's all I ever dreamed of as a kid, and now, somehow, I end up taking it for granted. This is one thing I find that helps bring me back to attention. I don't live to make my younger self proud, per se, but I try to remember how badly I wanted the life I'm living now, and how many sacrifices and how much work have gone into it.
fan. I have to say, you don't get it. It's probably my highlight of the trip so far. I've enjoyed this. It's pretty cool being the Dolkers. Hello. This is Joe. Joe. His best mate. Medium roast. Well being. <laughs> Um, Toby got a little gifty loo from. I did. Who, who's it from? This from Papa. Your mom or your Papa? And it just made his coffee process that much fancier. Taking it to the next level. So now he uses whole beans, like the cool dude that he is. Vale. Wow, that's the sound. Wow. Mm. But he Eighteen. doesn't do it for too long. <laughs> <laughs> Not 30 seconds like before. That was embarrassing. I was like, um. Nine has seemed to work out all right. Look at him, barista. Nice. <laughs> oh, and then it looks like this. So it just went from whole beans. Don't mind our dirty to sink. To grindy beans. <laughs> to ground beans. <laughs> grindy beans. <laughs> like grind, grind, grind those beans. <laughs> and then he does this little pour over situation because this man loves his pour over coffee. I do. You look so cute. But you can't just pour all the water right now because you have to sort of prime it. So you do a little bit and then you let some of the oils and stuff escape so it'll like sit there and kind of bubble a little bit. So in the meantime, I'm going to rinse this up. So it's, it's being primed right now. I don't this know if that's. Your Pour over coffee like lesson. The, I don't know if that's the official term, but. Thanks for the lesson. You're we welcome. appreciate you. We salute you. You can come back for a cup later if you want. Oh, you're so sweet. I strive for an active life with intentional movement. I've always wanted to emphasize the most accessible forms of movement on this channel, but lately I've found from a lot of social media consumption that I felt as though my at-home exercises were not enough, that I wasn't investing enough into myself as I could be because I wasn't going to workout classes or subscribing to a gym. Then I thought about some of my relatives and friends who don't even have access to safe walking where they live. And I want to believe that anything you can do at home is enough because of that. At one point, my depression was so bad that I wasn't leaving my apartment for anything except for work. On good days, I would pull up an indoor walking video and get my 8 to 10,000 steps that way. And as discombobulated as this message right now may seem, all I'm trying to say is that I want you to prioritize your well-being. That might mean five minutes of stretching or walk into the mailbox and back. Toby and I decided to do a little hikey hike before dinner. Now it's raining, so we better get home soon. But it's really stunning out right now. We've just been having such a good time. Yeah. Just, it, just the two of us, there's hardly been anybody out. We're just catching up and talking so much because we haven't seen each other in several weeks. So it's just, <laughs> we had to get our, our talking on. We're definitely chatty people. Oh, look at all the new roots coming down mm -hmm. are all red. Oh. See that? Like, look at this. See, this is the old, and then the new that just comes out. It's like a bright pink red color. <laughs> That's crazy. We didn't bring any water, but we're almost done. We're like really close. Should head home. I just don't want you to let the same barriers, mentally or otherwise, get in the way of you living a fulfilled, joyful, and relaxing life. I'm feeling so at peace right now. It's wonderful. I woke up with so much anxiety and I almost acted on that anxiety. Then I called my sisters 
and I talked to them for like six hours, like really long time. I painted and I cleaned the apartment and I did all these things while I was talking to them. And now I feel good. I'm watching a little bit of YouTube. I pulled out my planner to write down my schedule, but now that I do freelance work, I don't know what my schedule is. And I'm like, I don't really know how to function without a schedule. So that's gonna be a really interesting learning experience this year is just like my attachment to time and exploring that and trying to understand that. But I just made myself a little protein shake. I've been making these shakes lately. I usually, you know, I'm a smoothie person. I really don't love shakes unless it's a milkshake. And it's interesting because it tastes kind of plain. There's like no sweetness because there's no fruit. So I have protein powder, collagen powder, hemp seeds, chia seeds, and almond butter and ice and water. And I really like it. It's really refreshing. It's very nutrient dense and it gives me like a little boost of energy without like a sugar crash, which is nice. That's it. I just wanted to say hi. I just had a moment where I looked at myself in the mirror and I've been having like insane body dysmorphia lately. I've just been like really being so mean to this beautiful vessel. It makes me so sad because she didn't do anything wrong. And I looked at myself in the mirror and I said that she deserves to be treated the same way that Summer Vic deserves to be treated because I feel like Summer Vic is like tanner and slimmer because she's surfing more and just more adventurous and outgoing and just because I'm introverted and quiet and tired and anxious and maybe a little bit like puffy or whatever word you want to use I don't deserve to just like put this version of me in a box and just put her away until she's more palatable, more desirable, whatever that even means. And I think that just washed a wave of peace over me. It's like the same peace that I realize when I realize that I'm not alone, that I have other people who resonate and connect with me. It's the same peace that I feel like when I pray because prayer brings me immense peace. And it's miraculous these days to feel peace in our world and in my own personal mental state. I have to really, really just indulge in these moments. Sometimes bringing out the camera will exacerbate the tension or the anxiety because I suddenly put so many expectations on myself. But I don't feel that right now, so I just was like, I'm just gonna do it. I'm just gonna drink my shake. After declining too many of her invitations, I joined my friend on her weekly excursion to the ranch, and I'm so glad I did. I don't think it's bad to have declined in the past because it's true to how I was feeling at the time, but the intention today was to spend more time with my friends in their happy places. This is where I can see them thrive and feel most themselves, and I believe that so much of the time we want to change people or even make them more like ourselves. But where is the beauty and where is the wonder in that? Rep said yesterday. Hello, friend. Oh, he's just having like a little bit of an existential crisis. Yeah. Or just vibing. Or Wait. he's like, you don't. It's not. It's not like that, but it's giving um that barracuda. Oh my the, gosh! You know, it was like Literally. <laughs> oh my gosh. Just looking for the clownfish that we don't have. Toby's getting his first ever for real. Peanut butter. There you go. <laughs> What's the navigation for? Oh, screen that. <laughs> I was like, what are we doing? In case you're trying to go somewhere. <laughs> Thank you. 
This ended up being such a fun day. Toby and I got coffee early in the morning and then hung out until it was time to board our whale watching tour. Toby is a boat captain and he's able to book excursions for free when he's not working. So today we went with his co-workers and some of their partners to spend three hours looking for whales. I think a big part of living intentionally is being a perpetual student of life. Staying curious, being a tourist, leaning into confusion, and listening to expertise with a grain of salt. I think we're so afraid to be ignorant and to be able to ask for help and guidance. We're too distracted to be sufficiently observant. Going to see whales is not just about taking it off of a bucket list. It's about the feedback that you receive from the universe. Their sounds, their movements, their reactions to your presence, and the simultaneous peace and excitement that fills you up. The most significant part for me is how impossibly small I feel when I try to conceptualize that these mammals, just like us, cross oceans using only their bodies and instincts. What I hope you get from this video is that there's no specific way that intentional living has to look like. I will do another video on it soon, but I think that wellness and intentional living kind of have a look to it these days. And even though I love aesthetics, I just think that aesthetics are so besides the point when it comes to intentional living. Being intentional doesn't mean knowing every step of your journey, and it definitely doesn't mean a life void of mistakes. It really just means taking stock of your life and checking in on whether or not your actions and your values are aligning. The foundation of all of this is gratitude, and speaking of which, I'm extremely grateful for you all. Thank you for subscribing, thank you for liking, thank you for your lovely comments. I feel like I don't say it enough, but it brings me so much joy. And I really am grateful for people who have taken the time to donate to my Buy Me A Coffee link in the description below. So that's all I've got for you guys this week. Let me know if you guys enjoyed this video and want more of this style of video. If not, you can also let me know so that I can pivot and I'll see you in next week's video. Much love.